You remember during the pandemic when we did this video talking about how just looking at the volume of stories we have of our rich culture across states and languages how chapters from ancient indian history can translate into such compelling stories on the big screen the only precursor to the success of these films being if the intention is to do it with sincerity if there is om raut and manoj muntashar with adi purush on one end i genuinely with absolute conviction want to state that prashant verma the director of hanuman is on the opposite end i went in with zero expectations for hanuman but after stepping out of it i am filled with so much pride and have immense respect for the creator on what he has had the ability to achieve and execute on a mere 25 to 30 crore budget the film hanuman focuses on a fictional village which has an oppressive system at place those in positions of power take advantage of the impoverished and downtrodden by laying heavy taxes on them tej saja playing the role of hanumanta is an unemployed pickpocket who seems to have no future and daydreams about getting married to his childhood crush Meenakshi played by Amrita Iyer The circumstances are such that Hanumanta becomes the chosen one. The powers and strength of Lord Hanuman get bestowed upon him, and he becomes the figure for change in the village. As there is an impending doom that seems to directly threaten Hanumanta's powers, a battle ensues between good and evil. A marriage between ancient Indian history and the superhero genre that is truly admirable. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch Hanuman in theaters or not. The underwhelming aspects staging and action choreography this might be slightly nitpicking as the holistic quality of the film has all the elements for you to have a genuinely entertaining experience but we have to deep dive so have to be unfiltered regarding the film the idea of our indian gods and their extensions in human form utilizing their powers in the real world as we know today itself is so fascinating and while a lot of these ideas translate beautifully on the big screen i do slightly have a gripe with some of the staging and action choreography dispersed through about the film there is a battle that ensues in the akhada where hanumanta annihilates the wrestlers that surround him and the first battle introducing the character played by vinay rai they are probably the best action sequences from the film but in other instances it's slightly incoherent and by this i mean the action of carrying out the blows are never seen in motion and prashant verma as the director lays more focus on the effect of the impact So you see less of Tej Saja executing the punches and kicks and more of the goons and antagonists flying or crashing through brick walls and furniture. There are times also where Prashant uses a black screen and to immediately showcase the effect of Hanumanta's blows. I would have much preferred to see Hanumanta's powers at play, longer shots that would have allowed us to truly understand his capability and strength. The abrupt staging and editing of some of the action choreography is the most evident in a song where the women are preparing mango pickles and Hanumanta protects them and Meenakshi from bandits and the most emotional action sequence that I believed could have packed a punch a little better. I'll be honest, if these aspects of the film would have been treated with slightly more technical care, this review video possibly wouldn't even have underwhelming aspects. The good pitch and self awareness you know the one thing that i absolutely love about this film and this is a rarity with commercial telugu cinema and that is i did not even for one comedic scene cringe or feel uncomfortable satya and get up strino really packed the punch in the film and this really has to do with not only their performances but the writing of the film only the punch lines of vanilla kishore were a slight hit and a miss for me the campy pitch and self awareness with which the maker showcase even the most over the top scenes is so sweet that it actually reminded me of the sensibilities of movies catered towards children that we often reference as a simpler time you know movies where the heart was just in the right place where the humor was never crass just wholesome the film with all its world building has a zany approach much like the superhero films like mard ko dard nahi hota and minnal murli it's aware that it is a superhero film so even antics that might seem like clichés which are angry villains bodybuilder like goons and well superpowers are done with such conviction and a hilarious approach that you can't help but slowly fall in love with the film and its intention its integration of indian gods and the stories from ancient history are never forced they seem organic and cater to the story it's never preachy it never forces down an ideology that the audiences should think it tells a very simple superhero origin story but it's the ideas that prashant verma successfully executes that makes this a winner you've got a monkey that has his own voice over being a keen observer throughout the film a villain origin story straight out of a vintage comic book gadgets and tech like tony stark or bat 
Batman, childhood love like Mary Jane and Peter Parker. But the moment you all know I cheered for the most in the theater, it was when the film fully fanboyed over some of the biggest stars from Telugu cinema. You will very well know after watching the film the tribute I shouted the loudest for. You know what's the feeling you're left with as the interval happens? Damn. This is genuinely so much fun and I love that feeling as a viewer as you genuinely want every film to organically generate that response cinematography and score it's absolutely insane that this film has been made on a 25 to 30 crore budget no it's actually bonkers because when you see it barring a few shots where the cgi is slightly clunky especially with animals and high speed sequences it looks literally 10 times better than adi purush in each frame dasradi sovendra the dop and venkat kumar jetty for the visual effects really deserve all the praise the film and its rich contrasting colors really fill up the screen the village never seems like a constructed set but an actual establishment deep in the forests and hills making the experience of the locals and the impending doom of a rich industrialist hungry for superpowers even more real i kept on thinking that this film easily would have translated beautifully on the imax screen there is beautiful symbolism and energy dispersed throughout the film which i can imagine will develop great cheers and applause in theaters the film is a clear indication of when the investment of the film is in the right departments versus just in consolidating funds for actors fees this is the visual product that you will get the score also in several instances really gets you going it almost in some sequences felt as exhilarating as goku charging up to super saiyan great world building and interpersonal relationships what i absolutely loved about the storytelling of this film was that i was familiar with everyone and everything it much like kantara provided me context about the village the hierarchy that exists the interpersonal relationships that the main character shares especially the bond between him and his sister by the way can i just say varalakshmi sarat kumar absolutely lights up the screen whenever she appears be it the emotional moments or sequences of rage she has such conviction with her dialogue delivery that she can even make beating up goons with coconuts totally entertaining i genuinely cared for her loved the change of heart and evolution that hanumanta has over the course of the film ed saja puts on a fine act There are moments where I did notice a limitation in range but it never becomes distracting for the film. Samutrakani also has a prominent role in the film, really being a key contributor to raising the stakes in the film and making Hanumanta realize the gravity of the power he holds. The psychotic nature of Vinay Rai's character is also explored brilliantly and what I find fascinating is that the makers with a 2 hour and 38 minute running time introduce us to a new world and characters and made us care for their journey and ultimate fate. Something that is very tough to execute for the first installment of a superhero film. You cared. That's what I love the most about Hanuman. This is the marriage between ancient Indian history and the modern day sensibilities that we were talking about for so long. Of course it has its hiccups and issues, but you know what's the most beautiful part? It's the commencement of something special because I was in awe of the 15 minute climax that opens up so many possibilities for this to become a full-fledged franchise. With Aw and Zombie Reddy, Prashant has always strived towards executing something unique. I should not have doubted him from the onset. because this film really is the start of something special and definitely deserves love on a weekend where many are considering it to be the telugu dark horse and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about hanuman please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching